In a production process, there are many analog signals coming from sensors leading to a PLC. Think of measuring values like pressure, temperature, speed, for example. In this video, you will get the fundamentals of analog processing and how to plan your program. Stay tuned. This figure demonstrates how analog signal processing by a PLC works. The analog sensor delivers a current or voltage signal to the PLC. However, the computer processes information in binary code. How can this analog signal from the sensor be converted into binary information? This is the task of the Analog to Digital Converter, or ADC. Let's consider a very simple ADC with only two bits. So, if, for example, for the voltage to range from 0 to 10 volts, only two bits are available, and therefore the voltage range from the sensor can be divided into four separate ranges as shown. We see that the ADC has a resolution of 2.5 volts. An ADC with three bits has a much better resolution of 1.25 volts. So, the more binary digits that are available, the better the resolution. A commonly used analog digital converter in the industry has between 8 and 11 bits. Here, you see the equation to calculate the resolution. Scaling is the process of converting. For example, a voltage or current signal coming from a sensor into a more usable form to match the corresponding unit, such as bar, RPM, etc. For example, the scanned range of 0 to 10 volt for an analog module digitized has a value of 0 up to 27,648. The algorithm to scale this integer value into a real number is quite simple. As shown, it's easy to program your own function, but normally, the PLC software already provides such a function in its library. Let's have a look at the different types of analog sensors. Of course, analog sensors produce an output signal proportional to the measurement. Sending a voltage signal over long distances results in voltage losses due to wire and interconnecting resistances. Analog sensors with a current output overcome this problem as they send a very robust and reliable signal. As the current flows through all components, this current can be maintained due to an internal sensor control. If a sensor with an output signal from 4 up to 20 milliampere is used, even faults caused by a wire break or lost feed can be detected. While reading a signal between 4 and 20 milliampere would indicate a properly working circuit, a 0 milliampere signal at the PLC input would indicate an error. More information about PLCs can be accessed on our webpage. If you want to be updated about new videos, please subscribe to our channel.